Hey everybody, this is Stacy with Spectrum The Other Clinic. I'm going to teach you how to do a subcutaneous injection today. Now I've got on blue gloves so you can see what I'm doing with my hands a little bit easier. And the size of the needle I'm going to be using is much larger than what you would traditionally be using with a subcutaneous needle, but I'm doing that so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so this is going to be much larger. Your actual needle will probably look something like this. It's very, you know, tiny, whatever. Um, but the needle I'll use will be quite larger. Uh, anywho, first thing to do is to wash your hands really well with soap and water for at least 20 seconds before you get to doing this, okay? Okay, so let's look down at my supplies here. I've got my little fake piece of skin. This is going to be either your belly or the back chicken wing part of your arm or maybe the fatty part of the outer thigh or what have you. Wherever you're going to be sticking, this is you. Uh, then I've got my medication. This is just a little bit of water in the vial. I won't actually be drawing this up because I make a horrible mess, but I will pantomime it while I'm uh, while I'm walking through here. And then I've got my little alcohol pad, which I've already torn out because <laughs> I've run through this sequence so many times. <sighs> Hopefully this time will be the charm. Uh, so anyway, then I've also got my needle and syringe, which like I said, this will be uh, not the size you'll be using for a subcutaneous injection. Additionally, this is what we call a blunt tip. It doesn't really have as sharp a point so that hopefully I won't be stabbing myself half to death <laughs> during the video. Yay! Anywho, so first thing, gather your stuff. So you've got your medication, you've got your needle and your syringe, you've got yourself, you've got your alcohol wipe. You may or may not have this cap on here. It usually comes on for the first time. And the first time when you take it off, this is considered sterile unless something touches it. And other than that, every time after that, you're gonna have to be cleaning that off with alcohol. So we've got everything set up, good deal, we're ready to go. Let's take our little alcohol pad. We're gonna, in a circular motion for about 10 seconds, cleanse the spot where you're gonna stick. Da, 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 and then pop that off. For now, this is considered sterile, but let's pretend like you didn't have the cap on too. So 10 seconds, really scrub the hub up here. We wanna make sure that no bacteria can ever get into our stuff and make a home. No, thank you. So, okay, we're gonna set our little alcohol pad to the side because you never know, it might be handy later, right? The next thing to do is pull up the amount of air that is equal to the dose you will be pulling out of the vial. The reason for this is that there is a vacuum created inside here, and if all you do is pull liquid out, eventually that vacuum is going to get screwed up and it can leak or spray you or something like that. So let's say for our purposes, our dose is 0.5. I'm going to draw that up just so you can kind of see. So 0.5 milliliters of air is going to be put into here and then 0.5 of liquid is going to be taken out. Although, like I said, I'm not going to actually pull the liquid out because I make a horrible mess. Anyways, so we've got our air drawn up. We're going to take our cap off and set it to the side. And we're going to hold this on a very firm surface. Do not try and stick it here. You will stick yourself eventually, I promise. Ugh. Anyway, so firm surface and you're going to just stick this right down through the little plunger. And you're going to flip this upside down. Let me get this to where you can kind of see. You're going to inject the air into the vial and then you're going to make sure that your needle tip is below the liquid. I know that sounds kind of silly but I'll have people with their needle tip way up here and it's in the air and they're like I don't know why I'm not pulling anything out. It's because you're not in the liquid so make sure it's below in the liquid but for my purposes like I said I'm not going to pull the liquid out because I make a horrible mess <laughs> so I'm going to pull out. So you pull out your dose. You may have some bubbles here. It's fine. You can try and tap them up and squirt some of them out and pull it back or whatever. But in the end, the bubbles will not hurt you. Like it takes an awful lot of air injected into somebody to actually cause harm. These little tiny bubbles that you're gonna get with your tiny dose are not gonna be of any harm to anybody. It's fine if they're there um, at any rate. So putting it back down and pulling straight out. And again, if you want to try to flick and get some of the little air bubbles to the top and squirt them out, that's perfectly fine, but it is unnecessary. It is fine. You will be fine. <laughs> anyway, now this has air dried from where we had applied the alcohol, so good deal. Um, first thing to know is that we are going to be injecting with a dart-like motion of the hand, so quickly, not slowly, just toot, toot, dart-like. We're going to be doing it at a 45 degree angle and just so you can kind of see 45 degree angle you know 90 degree is straight up and down like this 45 degree is about half of that so about like this 45 degree angle okay so 
we're holding our needle we're going to do a dart like motion 45 degrees and it's okay if you do 30 degrees or 50 or whatever it's not nobody's perfect it's just 45 is what the average here you know about needs to be okay so take your fingers either your pointer finger and thumb or your uh, middle finger and thumb whichever is more comfortable for you and you can either pinch up or you can just kind of have them on the side for stability. I recommend kind of pinching up because it raises the fat up. So give it a pinch and then boop, da da. See, 45 degree angle, good deal. All right, and we're only going in about a half an inch. It's okay if you go in three quarters of an inch, but you really don't need to go in any deeper than that, okay? So down a half an inch in there, no less than that though. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to release the skin here and you're going to reach up and kind of hold this bottom of the syringe. Move this hand up and then slowly inject your medication. I mean slowly. This stuff, the medication itself, testosterone and estradiol is so thick. It's an oil and it's hard to pull out and it's hard to push in. Now then, once you're done doing the injection, you can release here and place your hand back here and pull out. Ta-da! Not too hard, right? Now you may have a little bit of bleeding or a little bit of clear seepage or something like that, which is usually going to be the serum from the capillaries near the surface. You may hit a big capillary and have a lot of blood. It's fine. Just take either a cotton swab or, a, uh, or your alcohol pad or whatever and hold pressure for one to two minutes on that spot. You'll be fine. Ta -da. Now, getting rid of your needle, you can either throw the whole syringe with the needle into your uh, disposal container, or like some people like to recap it, which technically is considered bad form in healthcare, but if you do recap it, please do it the fish technique, which is to fish the needle into the cap while it's on a flat surface like this. Da -da -da. There. <laughs> Y'all are watching me thinking I'm crazy. But anyway, the whole purpose of this is that if you're sitting here doing this and you're just clumsy like I am, eventually you will probably poke yourself and that's just not anybody's idea of a good time. And doing it this way where you kind of get it in there and then you can click it on is just a little bit safer. So luckily I'm using a blunt needle <laughs> so I don't really have to worry about being poked right now. So anyway, that is in a uh, injection technique called subcutaneous. We're going to run back through it a little bit faster this time uh, and we will gather all of our supplies again. We're going to leave the cap off of the vial this time because this will be a repeat injection. So we've got our medication, we've got our alcohol pad, we've got our site, we've got our needle and syringe, and we've also washed our hands with soap and water for 20 seconds beforehand. Yay, good to go. So first step. Cleanse with your alcohol pad, 10 seconds circular motion. Same goes for your medication. Cleanse, scrub the hub, 10 seconds circular motion. Don't want any bacteria getting in there, no. Set that little sucker over to the side. Now you're gonna pull up the same amount of air that you need, which our dose is gonna be 0 0.5. Whoop, there we go, 0 0.5 milliliters of air. Take my cap off, hold this on a firm surface, stick it through the plunger, flip it up here so you can see it. Now I'm going to inject the air and make sure my tip is below the liquid before I start pulling, but I'm only going to pull air so that I don't make a mess. So pulling out the liquid, about 0.5 milliliters. You can get rid of some of the air bubbles, but the air bubbles are fine. They are not going to hurt you. Then flip, pull out. You can set this aside. Good deal. We're ready to stick. We've got our piece of skin and we're going to be going in with a dart-like motion. 45 degree angle, about a half inch deep, up to three quarters inch deep into the fatty tissue. So I'm gonna give a little pinch to raise the fatty tissue up, get my needle ready to go, and 45 degree angle, boop, about a half an inch, good deal. Okay, so releasing my hand, grabbing the bottom part of the syringe for stability, and then coming up here and slowly injecting the medication. Like I said, that stuff is very thick. It'll take a lot longer than this to do. And then if you want, you can grab this again, secure, pull back, grab your little alcohol wipe or cotton ball or whatever, and hold for one or two minutes if you're having any seepage or bleeding or whatnot. It's the luck of the draw, folks. It can happen or not happen. It's, it's just normal. Uh, anyway, whenever you're done, you can either throw your needle into your container or like I showed you before, ineffectively, <laughs> do the fish technique. Get this up on there and click it on. You're good to go. 
Anyways, let me raise this back up. Hopefully that helps some folks. Uh, I've got a couple of other videos you can check out on um, things that can uh, occur that are normal abnormals with injections as well as like site leakage and things like that if you want to check those out. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. Subcutaneous injections, get going. Now you're good. <laughs> it's not rocket science. You'll figure it out. Just run through it. Practice a couple of times. All right. Bye.